a show that is has there are three solo shows here. My show called Eye to Eye. I'm Mary Curtis Ratcliffe. The next show is Holly Frizzell. And the and the third speaker and show is Julia Julianne Sterling. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> eh, I'm not nervous, am I? <laughs> anyway, uh, I wanted to tell you about what you're seeing. Yeah, all the work in this circle here is mine. Um, my father was a photographer. He died in 1990, so it was a while ago. He was a pro uh, professional, I mean, he was not a professional photographer. He just did photography his whole life. He had a dark room. I hang out with him in the dark room when I was a child. I started taking photographs with my little brownie camera, you know, those ones with the, the little string around your neck and you go click, you look through there and it focuses ahead. I, the first composition I have from myself as a, a, a youthful photographer was age seven. So I started using my photography and my work from that time on. Um, then I went to art school. I would, uh, was a, a, a sculptor for 25 years. And then about 15 years ago, I started doing um, two-dimensional work and using photography as a base. So what you see here, all the images are my father's. All the composition is mine, all the color is mine. Because for instance, this piece started out <coughs> with this image. Wow. This is what I saw. This is a photograph of a window frame he took in Israel, I believe. Then I saw it and I thought, oh wow, look at these cute little openings. And I thought, wait a minute, my parents lived in the south of France for 12 years. Didn't dad do a whole bunch of series of small animals and insects and things? And so that's what I did. I went and found those and I image transferred them into each one of the things. Um, <clears throat> these are from London. These are all from the south of France, and I don't know, these might be from Michigan, where I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> so there's acrylic and colored pencil. This is one of uh, a Berber woman on a camel, taken in, T in Tunisia in 1967. Now, when I went through all those um, books, I remembered this photograph. I said, oh my god, there's that. And here it is all these years later, and I actually did something. Now, I thought, didn't think this was going to be a painting. I had no idea this was going to be a painting. I thought it was going to be something else. It turned into a painting. It's watercolor and acrylic, basically. And so she's in Tunisia. This person is from Egypt. <laughs> but I had to stick them in there just because of the composition. <laughs> um, this one over here. This is the image taken in um, Senegal. This was the original image. So I decided that there were also some other photographs that my father took in Senegal. So I Xerox transferred in three different images. And then this is the only one I use pastel in. So this all this color because I can you can layer pastel and rub it in and erase it and layer some more and rub it in and erase it. And so that's what that is. And um, it turned out to be su surprising, more surprising than some of them. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> it's each one is an experiment, which is so much fun. Then, Did you use ink on that too, or just pastel? No, just pastel. Xerox transfer and pastel. Yeah. And then, <laughs> my father used to spend a lot of time sailing on the Mediterranean, and my parents also traveled to Senegal, Tunisia. This image is a com uh, combine image of a sail on the Nile on the left. And then um, the other sales are from the English Channel, I think. You know, 
Dad labeled some of the photographs, but a lot of them he didn't label, so I'm just kind of imagining. Uh, I think that's from the English Channel. So this one actually inspires me because I love the abstraction of it and the combination of abstract form, and it makes me want to go sailing again and start shooting the sails, and who knows what will happen in the future. So that's that one. Then over here, this um, is also from the English Channel, on a boat called Belita. And I started with this image, which is just exactly the same as this, basically. But I decided I wanted to do something else with it. So I, I um, anybody, can anybody figure out what I did here? What? <laughs> Tell me what I did. <laughs> no, it's no Photoshop allowed, right? No. <laughs> what did I do here? Negative. Oh, negative. Negative. He flipped it. I flipped it. I flipped it. I drew this in with uh, graphite. And I thought perhaps I wanted to do something else with it. And so I, Peter suggested that I make um, some small studies here. And so this was the same, just at a different scale. And I put a sunset there, and then this one is a, a, a major sunset. I love it. Yeah. And, um, and then I looked at that, and I said, you know, I like it the way it is. I think I'll just leave it alone. So that's what I did. And then these are small images, all from the uh, wildlife matrix, which is the one back there. They're just small ones. This, these are luna moths. And this one was taken against the screen. And it looks like I might have drawn that in, but it actually not. My dad just must have put the luna moth on a screen, and there was so much backlighting underneath that it uh, came through the wings, which I think is really a nice texture. And then I put a sunset behind it, and a sunset behind this dog here, or a pigeon, actually, that's a pigeon. And then here's a wonderful spider that was probably actually in reality about that big. That, that's a spider in the south of France. <laughs> Still there. Still there. <laughs> 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 then the last piece is um, this piece here, and this is a photograph that my father took in Israel, and I saw this uh, shadow of the, the uh, window, and I said, wait a minute, didn't I take a photograph that looked like that? Wait a minute. So I looked through all my photographs, and I couldn't find it, and I couldn't find it, and then I finally found it on my cell phone. I, <laughs> I usually don't take things on my cell phone. So I decided to make this a, 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 um, a combination of them. And um, so that is the one where I have an actual image, the only piece that I have an actual image in. So are there any questions? Did I explain perfectly? <laughs> like using your dad's photographs? It was very interesting. Very interesting because my father was not an easy person to be in the same house with. As a child. <laughs> I won't go into details, but he really wasn't. But he he did two things where he was a safe person to be with. One when he would photograph and in the dark room and another one he would pick up his guitar and sing uh, about 140 or 25 folk songs. He had a beautiful tenor voice. And so those are the times that he was safe. He wouldn't have a temperature and he wouldn't blow up. So it's been very interesting getting in touch with him on a psychic level because um, sometimes when I first see him, he's like this. But when I started working with, with these images, his arms went down and then he put his hand out. It was really amazing. So I really wish he could be here, but I think he is. He is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I, I, I you know, I, I love the fact that I can do it as a tribute to him. Mary Curtis, say yes. his name. Sorry? Say his name. Francis Kenneth Ratcliffe. Known to people as? Ken. Yeah. Ken Yeah, 
Back in the 60s and 70s, before it was a trendy place before to live. Peter right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, enough about me. How about Holly? Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. You.